Hello, hello, my name is Crucimix, but you already know that. Today I'd like to defend some degenerates and bitch about Twitter, but before I continue down the commentary pipeline, I'd like to issue an apology, ask you to forgive me for something, because I haven't uploaded in almost a month, and that's just an absolute tragedy, because my content is relatively low effort for me not to be consistent, so going forwards, I'm gonna try and be better about that. So, without further ado, why don't I lower your faith in me by defending lollygons. See, on Twitter.com, there's been this back and forth for an eternity between people who think drawn 2D images are actual children and people who jack off to the most degenerate shit in the world. So one side is pretty fucking annoying, and the other side is just plain disgusting. For the uninitiated, lollygons are people who like to get their kicks beating their schmeat to drawn images of kids, but the other side says that this is somehow pedophilia even though they aren't real people and at face you're like yeah I mean that's disgusting that is kind of pedophilia but if you really think about it it's still disgusting and kind of pedophilia but so is basically everything you don't really see furries getting the same kind of shit which is weird because a few years ago furries were the most disgusting things in the world but now they're just kind of accepted and I don't really think that's fair for lollicons to be treated differently even though furries are far more disgusting in my opinion because at least you don't really hear about like lollicons actually actually going for real children, but you hear about plenty of furries doing that and going for animals and all sorts of things. It's it's a terrible place for a furry, I'm not gonna lie, you're kind of a disgusting group of people. But that's beside the point, both get their kicks going hard in the paint for things that aren't real, and I don't really feel like they should be punished for that. It's disgusting, but there are so many grandstanding moral actors in this that it makes me feel like you're throwing stones from glass houses. I mean, I'll never be the one to tell you bullying is wrong, I love bullying. I think it's the funniest thing in the world, but whenever you do a little bit of trolling, a little bit of bullying through the eyes of morally superior actions, you become this sort of disgusting, disheveled freak in my eyes. You're an absolute abomination, and I hate you for it. See, you're just as bad as the person you're getting mad at, if not worse, because to me, I mean, you're getting angry over something, like, you're losing the point of the meme. The whole idea here is to make fun of people, make them angry at you, not the other way around. Come on, man, you don't know how to play the game, and that's stupid. Also, it seems kind of fake, and generally speaking, I just can't stand serious people online, because online is not a serious place to be. If you want to go have an argument, go have it in real life where people exist, instead of this two-dimensional plane. But I think that that's enough explanation for now, why don't I start showing a little bit of an example, a little bit of a showcase of what I'm talking about. This first example is probably the most notable one from uh, recent memory, and definitely the one that set me down this downward spiral. There's this anime called Dragon Maids, where it has female children doing certain bizarre, uncomfortable, and degenerate things. But as this user rightly points out, the exact same thing is true of certain American cartoons which get praised for their Inclusivity. And in the quote retweets, which we all know is the bastion of truth and justice, we see the maximum amount of coping and seething from Twitter.com. You see, this user at Fish Creek says, Fact, y'all can't see the difference is kinda telling. Yeah, I think we can see the difference, alright. The Japanese made the lesbians look attractive, while the Americans made them ugly, and apparently ugly is acceptable. I really thought it would have been the other way around, but you know, let's let's just accept that's the truth because this user is so dead on with their assumptions. For real though, they're literally the same exact actions being taken by children of almost the exact same age. I don't really see what they're trying to get here, except for maybe the fact that like anime has a more sexualized thing is the argument I see, but I'm not sure that really holds up whenever you uh kind of look deeper. Whenever you actually watch the shows that are being praised, you might just see that uh, they're not so far off. I mean, they are decently far off because Dragon Maids is all uh, moe and shit, but at the end of the day, it's literally the same action being taken by children of likely the same age, so it's kind of weird to accept one and be disgusted by the other. I think more so it's that you attribute the degeneracy of the people who enjoy one to the thing itself. 
I mean, you know who's watching what for what reasons, and you're kind of making your assumptions from there, which is okay, assumptions are fine, but don't be such a little uh, annoying prick about it online. This next user kind of uh, points out that uh, people are calling one anime girl a child whenever they have massive memories, gazonkas beyond belief, milkers out of this world, and yet they are a child in the eyes of the average Twitter user. But at the end of the day, all anime characters kind of look like ungodly abominations, so I don't really care if they are two years old, it's still kind of a freak, kind of an alien, and if you can get your rocks off to that, then you're kind of a freak, you're kind of an alien. But we're all well aware of our own search history, so I feel like compared to the stuff you guys watch, it has to be at least a little vanilla to see this kind of thing. I've seen you, I know what you do, you should really be ashamed, you should hide within your closet, you should destroy your GPU, I've seen the depths of your reality, and it's absolutely putrid, your soul is wasting away, please delete your search engine and go home, take a bath, and cry quietly into your pillow. This next example is a Twitter user calling an artist pedo, which is pretty standard, pretty standard. Supposedly it's because these people they've drawn are 12 years old, and uh, they gave them massive, massive titties, which is just emblematic of the average 12 year old. I mean, you can't walk through a middle school without seeing that. So I understand the hate. I understand. These are definitely proportional women. These are definitely the appearances of actual children. I understand. I really get it. This is a pedophile. We need to destroy these people. Because if we don't stop them before too long, the whole internet is just going to be filled with these pictures of Pokemon girls in lewd poses. That would be terrible. What a reality we would live in if that existed on the internet. Oh god, you must stop them. This next example is my favorite genre. See, it's a gimmick account bitching about lollies. How rare, how unique, how special, how morally superior of them. This VTuber stand says, Remu fact number, I'm not gonna read that, if you are a lollicon slash shotokan slash etc and you follow me, I'm gonna fucking kick your ass. And then they limited the replies. Oh wow, so stunning, so brave. What's funny about this is the VTuber in question would absolutely be called a lolly by another person in this group because they all sort of call out any anime girl for any reason just because they happen to look like a child in the eyes of someone who's got a messed up perception of children. This next example I can't fault because it's actually, you know, it's kind of understandable. They're not they're not trying to make some kind of moralistic argument. They're just saying that this person is disgusting, and they absolutely are. They said, uh, what the hell is wrong with this guy? Why is everyone on Twitter obsessed with lollycon and incest? And this is from Terrible Twitter. And, uh, yeah, no, this is actually just kind of fucking disgusting. If you read this, which I'm not going to because I don't want these words coming out of my mouth, a person is defending the disgusting fucking action of incest. I mean, get off to whatever you want, but, like, don't... Don't defend the IRL action. That's that's just kind of fucked up. That's not that's not that's too far. That like I'm not even making fun of you. I'm not even laughing anymore. This just isn't fun. I don't like talking to you. Please, please stop. Please get away from me. Here we have another gimmick account saying if you support Lollygon or any of that, unfollow immediately, please. You're a genuine loser and a stain on society. I don't know what it is that gets my blood boiling about people just being like, yeah, yeah, unfollow me because of this. Like you're the fucking Rude's film, like, it, it, come, come on, dude, it's it's not that serious, they're just weird guys jacking off to weird things, you, you can enjoy their support, alright? It's just kind of weird behavior for someone who's trying to garner attention by being a gimmick account to, like, denounce a section of their audience for kind of no reason, like, I get they're disgusting, dude, I understand, but they aren't, like, that fucking disgusting, like, there's plenty of freaks on here. But this last example might make you rethink the entirety of the argument I've presented thus far, because it's just fucked it. It's, it's beyond fucked. I, I can't stand this. This is absolutely fucking bizarre. This YouTube fleet says, Eat that pussy, 445. Senpai went from 2D lollies to 3D miners. That's a baka mistake. Remember, 3D always leads to jail. Refleet, refleet, refleet. What the fuck did I just read? Like, it's only, it's almost noble, right? Because they're, they're trying to convince their fellow freakazoids not to go for actual children, but it's also just the... 
it's beyond cringe. It's a new level of cringe. I have ascended by reading this. Genuinely, this person is way too fucking far into it. This is this is too far gone. This is unsalvageable, dude. Like I get it. But on, you're worse than eat that pussy four for five because I had to read this. Like I don't have to think about him on a daily basis, but you reminded me of his existence, and for that I will never forgive you, dude. And that's it. That's all the images I have saved for today. So why don't you take your hand and mosey on down to the subscribe button if you enjoyed this video. And honestly, is it possible not to enjoy one of my videos? You should click a couple more. In fact, you should binge watch them. I have like five now. That's pretty cool. That's pretty wild, actually. That's like almost a repertoire. And look at those thumbnails. Damn, they're pristine. Damn, they're shiny. Ah, oh, you might just have to go through and like all of my videos. That's, that's almost the only option I see for you from this point on. Anyway, in all seriousness, I have been and will be Chris Mix in the foreseeable future. Please subscribe to me. I love you. Goodbye.